We are near the end of our Honor Mode adventure. Uh, beyond this door right here is the final battle that's already warned me if I go through there. It is an irreversible decision. There are two fights left that I know of in the town we are going to try to knock out and then attempt this final battle. So really there's three big battles remaining. Hubert Oak, you are very rude, I was talking. So we only have a couple fights left before we are at the end end of all of this. So we are going to try to see if we can get through these three fights without dying. So every step we s every step we take is the furthest I've ever been into honor mode. Let's see. I know one of the things I missed is like a prison over here somewhere from reading my quest log. And I am looking for that now. Ah, yes, this is it. I have not been in here. Let's see. Paladin Alzette and Sauer. This way's off limits. Okay. Stay back for your own good. Uh. Who or what is behind this door? Hmm. Found the undead freak here already chained up by the magisters. They say she's a. Her voice freezes into a heart. I say she's a demon. What makes her so dangerous? Creatures like this Windigo. They must oh, Wendigo. Magic to children with Back again. I've killed her already at least once. Tools of demons. I've encountered this Wendigo. You know this, this trickster? Hmm. Mm, yes, mm. your captive is neither witch nor demon, but something much darker. You need my expertise. Oh, well, go on then. Probably mm. doesn't matter who breaks her, so long as she gets broken. Just keep your head on straight. She'll try to make nice. Creep into your thoughts. Keep her out of there, all right? All right. Smooth talker fane. See. All right. How did you? Yeah. What's this? Who are you? Give me room. I feel a breakthrough approaching. <laughs> she cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Too late. The spark's been snuffed. <laughs> I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. What is all this? The magisters can quiet the songs of source using their collars and cages. I would normally call it a crew. We found her here, already imprisoned, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even at the evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had, mesmerizing you with candy-sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and caught. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking what? your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was you shake your head and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not mm. on the prisoner, but on the paladin. Hold your hand to her head. Rest easy. No peace. You can trust me. The paladin sighs. In, then out. The sorcerer. You. You penetrate my... I understand now. I will give you the space nice. you need, then. Things are under control. For now. All right, all right. Wendigo, let's have a little chat. You step up to the cell to look at the skeleton you know to be Wendigo. 
The barium mutes her source, but it isn't her source you fear, but something more, a shadow. She says nothing, but you still hear her words. An unexpected pleasure for both of us, I'm sure. She looks to the nearby device, and an urge engulfs you. An urge to power down the device to release Windigo from her cell. Uh, question the urge. What is there to gain by freeing her? Her mouth remains closed, yet her voice settles in your mind. The God King rejoices as long as I am chained. Free me, and we might hobble him. The voice is gone. Windigo is... No more lies, God Woken. You can be free of me. Dropping the barrier requires... Her lips go still, yet... Let us be... Huh. I could definitely take her on if I had to fight her. Alright, let's save the game. Unless she summons like 20 reinforcements or something. You know what? Red, please take most of the party to the high ground while we trade words. Just in case. You reach your hand towards the device, and your inner source is stifled, as if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, nice. Recall the blacksmith and Fort Joyce techniques. After a bit of tinkering, the machine whines pitifully, and the shield nice. surrounding the cell flickers off. Come to me, sweet. She steps forward, sweet slowly, cinnamon, but confidently. She holds out her hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. The God King no longer grants me his favor. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone, because the God Woken still walks river like Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell that I hate him. So, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. When I failed to die. Go to the new chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. Huh. All right, let's save again. Very well, but if I sense anything unusual, I won't stand idle. Neither of us are inclined to mercy. Let's make the most of this moment, shall we? The Covenant, it sounds... sounded so beautiful. Eternity right there at my fingertips. Yet it's all a lie. There is no grand reward, no enduring prosperity. Just slavery within the void. I was so naive. The God King told me I was... <laughs> She's like a scorned lover. He came close, and then closer still. Hearing him, I failed him. You just wouldn't die. <laughs> Sorry. With all his punishments, the harshest was the emptiness, the lack of him. I thought if I could just regain his affection, I might taste it again. Uh, I feel like if she's going to give me any aid, I have to act sympathetic, whereas I usually would not give mercy to someone who sunk a boat and tried to kill me, and then shot fire at me later. The God King is indeed deceptive and prone to betrayal. Yes, sir. He's a wily one. He wriggles into your head like a worm through an apple. I wish I'd known. I wish I could have known. What happens next? I go to Lindekem. He is the God King's current beloved. No more skin in his real bones than on a pale Kelm, the paladin but leader? It is not only his ear the God King whispers into. The dwarf called Isbel. I killed she her. She bends to the king's every whim. Kem's got a sworn break of scythe somewhere in his estate. It'll free me from the covenant. I'd be mortal, yes. How'd you end up in the cell? The God King. He said if I could find Dallas, eliminate her. I could take my place by his side again. But Kem, he doesn't like competition. The Magisters, they've got ways of silencing Source. They knew exactly what to do. Before you go, I have something for you. Ooh, something I learned. Nice. A touch of void, if you will. Windigo pauses. She doesn't speak. Goodbye, Godwoken. Okay. 
So there was like no pause between her giving me that book and her poofing out. So I'm not sure if there was any way to have gotten that book and also let her get away. So I'm okay with the outcome there. What is this? Oh, some spear I picked up. Oh, I can't even mark it to sell. All right, send that to the Lady Vengeance. And where's that book? Darn it. All right, let's auto sort, see if we can get all the books together. Oh, it's a Charm Void Woken. Here we go. Uh, it does not seem to have any requirement. I mean, it looks like the summoning skill, but it seems like anyone can use it. I mean, it doesn't seem any better or worse than Dominate Mind. Hmm. No one really has extra slots. Alright, I guess I'll put it on Fane, because he's my main man. And let's remove... I haven't used Cryogenic Stasis a single time, I don't think. Uh, I'm definitely keeping last right, no question about that. I think I can remove Healing Ritual. Okay. Excuse me, because I think... Uh, where is the runes? There we go, that's a mass cleanse. So if I put this in there... Alright, so now he's got mass cleanse wounds, I think, without even having to load it. Create a water puddle beneath every target. Remove necrofire, burning disease, decaying touch, poison bleeding, suffocation, and acid. Oh! Ooh, wish I'd found that ages ago. So... Wait, am I blind? What did I unlearn? I thought I unlearned cryogenic stasis. Oh, I unlearned healing ritual, that's right. Okay, so... Man, this hot bar is completely packed, isn't it? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Okay. Now I could get that heal spell on everybody, couldn't I? Honestly, the heal spell on Fane might hurt him. I'm not even certain right now. So let's do manage runes. Come on, work with me here. Bro. I said manage runes. Are you for real? Alright, let's get everybody together. There, okay, it was hiding in the background for some reason. Okay, now he's got mass cleanse wounds. I thought. Where is it? There, okay. That was weird. Uh, I must have done the misclick. Okay. Ephon. Manage runes. That's weird. Okay, so it just keeps going in the background there. That's the problem. Alright, Ephon's got it. And hers does not have a socket. So her armor is not good enough for that. Okay. So now we know Paladin Lord Kendakem is a bad man. And we're going to have to deal with that. So let's see what we've got going on here with this ring. Whew. That's a good ring. This is summoning. Everybody got good rings. I like good rings going on. Okay, so that's going to upgrade the promise ring. And then we'll mark that to sell. Not that I really need money, but just to... Oh, Bloodstained Journal. What do we got here? Uh, finding... That's no escort to full guys for religious say. Oh, I feel bad for that guy. Some guy was working in the basement on... Geists, I guess? Oh, wait, those are like undead. Okay, I don't feel as bad for that guy, but some guy was working down here. Didn't know about the Magister's Betrayal. 
And then the paladins came and were like, we know you're hiding something. And they tortured him to death while he was down here. And he's just like, I have no idea what's going on. All right. Take a drink. That undead witch. Heard her talking about some kind of covenant. All right. Demons wait. They give out promises like sweet. You're in the wheat. Is there anything else I need down here? Hey, oh, what is that? Mercury. Okay. Very good, but not an upgrade. Puddle of source in here. That's kind of weird. Jar of mind maggots. Lots of jars of mind maggots. All right. Sibyl, please take a bite of this. You are the hand. You are the hand that hurts, the hand that kills, the hand that bleeds them dry. You are the hand that listens to Magister Timort's head. I like how that's written. It's as if the limb has a mind of its own. You are the foot. You are the foot that aches to run away. The foot that remembers the feel of grass mm -hmm. under... Very interesting. I like that. There was no other writing like that through this story. Where did they go? Prisoners can't just vanish. Uh, what's going on over here? Paladin de Selby. I'm glad this one was let off the hook. I'd rather guard a body than bury a corpse any day. Mm, well said, well it's said. It's not like Kem to change his mind mid-execution. Can I talk to her through the bars? Well, hello again. Welcome to my very, very... Oh, the it's the uh, lady who I got Kim to spare outside by the persuasion check. Why were you accused of treason? Yes, I heard it too. The man has some curious ideas about what constitutes treason. I refuse to raise a hand against fellow members of the Divine Order. Refuse to buy into Kem's lie that they're all black ring puppets. You don't seem to be a fan. Kem's always been a hard man. His steel was forged in the war. He's turned cold. Not cruel, exactly. They say it's the Void Woken. That he's too worried about Rivalon to worry. Maybe that's it. Or maybe he is a fight. There are places in Kem's mansion that nobody goes but him. One has to wonder what uh, he gets up to. Kem's mansion. Oh, I went there. Yeah, I raided his vaults. I robbed the guy blind. All right, why is the city tearing itself it's apart? not just the city. The Divine Order is coming undone at the seams. There's never been much love lost between the Paladins and the Magisters, but this... Brawling in the streets... Why are you guys so divided? Too many paladins from noble families and too many magisters that started as working folk. Of course, the paladins were the first recruits of Lucian. So, many saw the magisters rising through the ranks as a threat to their order. Fig bum. But now that some white magisters have been found colluding with the Black Ring, now that Kim has his excuse, it's war. I'll see you again, I hope. Okay. So that gave me... Can... <laughs> she spat on me! You winch. <laughs> 500 escapees. Who are you? Did Lord Kem send you about the missing prisoners? Uh... Oh. I've already discovered that Magisters were investigating the situation. We found a hidden grating beneath the barracks that leads into the sewers. Ah, so the prisoners escaped. That seems unlikely, since they were well shackled. You may thank Lord Kem for the information. I will put it to good use. We'll get to the bottom uh, of this, I guarantee. Have you looked in Fort Joy? These were no sorcerers. These were thieves and drunkards, imbeciles and liars. How do you know they're missing? The jailer's records are clear. 564 men and women were signed in and never signed out again. And they are. Be sure that we. Okay, creepy. All right. Uh, you know, I didn't do Trispear Vision in here. 
any ghosts with stories to tell? Guess not. All right. Let's head back upstairs. So I think we just need to go to Lord Kendakam's estate, who for some reason sounds like Sean Connery. Um, I mean, what would happen if I just challenged oh, Lord Kinder Kim to a showdown right now? Not much blood I know he's a bad dude. I guess, I'm guessing all these paladins would defend him. There are a lot nearby, so that would be bad stuff. Okay, so let's go to his estate, which is where I already have a waypoint. So we're over on the west side of town now. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go into his house. See, I think I found Justinia in his house. I killed Justinia. I think we found Justinia in his house earlier. Um, the basement was empty. I didn't get to see the hole upstairs. Oh, this goes hand in hand with earlier when that dog said that Kinder Kim sounded like a, or smelled like a graveyard. And then we just found out that he's got the Source King's favor, so he must be undead. So where do I need to go right now? So there could be something in the vault I missed or something up here, but there's not that many spots here to hide. Okay. Okay, so let's check the vault again, then. Uh, vault was over here. Let's see if I missed something in the vault. Room. I missed that earlier. It's okay though. Replica of a wolf statue, 150 pounds. Don't need that. All right, so this is where I put in the painting, and this was a hidden room. Oh, that's right. I never got this thing open because I was out of lockpicks. Okay, maybe it's in here. Tome of. Apparently, I didn't even need lockpicks. I had the old book on a shelf trick. All right, save game. I don't know what's going on here. Oh man, I thought this was like a void in space for a second. I didn't realize it was fancy carpet. And moth. Wow! A dagger of pain shoots through your head, halting your advance instantly. You hear a voice, soft and calm, yet laced with disappointment. Such a long journey you have undertaken. Oh, snap. In the service of thieving charlatans. In pursuit of that which you will never obtain. A long, sad sigh reaches you from the depths I don't of the like that itself. Red is in the conversation. <sighs> this is your last chance. Abandon this folly. Ooh. Leave and never return. Demand to know who I'm speaking to. I am the Red Prince. I am the past. I will be the future. I am the God King. You are but a misguided servant. Heed my words and leave. I do not wish you harm unless you force my hand. Hey, Master Agent. Ah, uh, fucked up quite a bit in Act 4. Setting only three Odyssey, three Braves, excellent use through quick save a single battle, which ended up me being super. I'm stuck in that battle? Oh, man. You said, it, now is that three auto saves and three quick saves for a total of six saves? Like, can you go back to the last auto save? Or, or do you mean you've got three total, not six total, and you're all stuck? And if you mean that you're stuck in the battle, can you have one person run out of the battle and use the runaway move and then possibly come back and resurrect the others? I've had to do that a few times. God King, why do you have a shrine in such a place? Because my followers are many. My followers are everywhere. Your endeavors are pointless. The voice fades away, and with it, the pain. Okay, I guess it's not a big deal that Red was in that conversation because he didn't have to uh, say anything. This damn shield, though! Oh, wow. Really high physical armor. 
jack crap magic armor. Man, I thought this was amazing. Now I don't know if I want to use it. I mean, it has dodge, it has block, it has constitution. I think I might. And it gives the flay skin spell? What is that? Yo, girl, what's flay skin do? Destroy 500 magic armor at target and halves their resistances. God damn! Only, only the God King knows the weight of responsibility. The, the weight of responsibility? Is that like literal? Like I have to find something called responsibility and weigh that thing down? Or is it... Freaking timing of that. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> okay. Some dude getting torched. Oh, it's Arhu! I've been looking for you, man. Where have you been? Apparently, you've been in here getting tortured. That's where you've been. This is what I think it is. This is going to be the second to last fight of the game for me, possibly. D what? Why is Wendigo's dead corpse here? And why is Sibyl surrounded by, like, a cloud of nebula? Virtue token? Consume this to gain two source points? Hold on. Can I spear vision her? Hey, hey, girl, what are you? What Radiant happened? I talked to you like a minute ago. She is no longer the arrogant banshee that summoned a kraken and brought down a magister vessel, but a fearful child bracing for parental punishment. He's close. So close. Can't you feel him, God Woken? The king approaches. Had a genius plan to bring the enemies into the middle of arcs. It was after I got them into the center of arcs that I saved three times. Now, each time I try to continue, it ends with all paladins of citizens getting slaughtered. <laughs> Hope you didn't need those merchants. Do you get XP when the people die? Because that could be a silver lining if you're getting XP when the town gets murdered. You might be able to get to like a higher maximum level than most people reach before the final fight. Search your mind, search the air. Yes, the God King does indeed approach. A moment of silence passes. And then, Windigo's scream split. He's tearing away my soul, God Woken. Cast me to the void if you must, but do not let him take me. Uh. Summon the source you muster and tug at the spirit. Deny the God King. Windigo's spirit flutters and writhes. Your skull squeezes tight and your throat burns with fire, but the substance of her being is nearly yours. <laughs> Mmm, chant a psalm for exorcising demons, as ice melts before fire, so he perishes in divinity's presence. Your head shrieks, as if split in two by the god king's language, <laughs> but you have overcome. Windigo's source funnels into you in steady gushes, as you sling her spirit into the void. Nice! Oh. Well, oh, she, she asked for that, she wanted that. Can't imagine I'm gonna see her a fourth freaking time with after what I just did. Oh, 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 I must have the wrong person eat this. Alright, nothing there. No memories there. No memories there. Okie doke. Save game. Alright, what's going on with you, Arhu? He seems to be in great pain. Okay, hold on. 
this is this is looking like a trap. We're gonna do a couple of things here. Arhu, continue getting tortured for just a minute. I need you to hold on. All right, so if these guys are up here, let's set the stage, class. Set the stage. All right, if I'm here, yes, I can cast down there. Okay, so we'll have three people on high ground. Hey, Arhu, what up? The man before you writhes in pain, oblivious to you. Otherworldly shackles are coiled all around him, keeping him prostrate. <gasps> Don't touch his prostrate. Get his attention. The man raises 